love going to any sporting event that involves kids and support them in the best way I can. Uh, I, I love campaigning to a degree, <laughs> to a degree, and it is a beautiful day for it. As you said, I was out door knocking this afternoon and was right in the middle of a conversation when I got the call to come back here, so I had to finish that up, but uh, the response is good. The interesting thing I'm finding when I go door to door, Mike, is that people are saying, well, what's she going to do? And I said, you know, I, I wish I could tell you because she has no published platform. Uh, it's, she has nothing she says she's going to do to correct anything in town. And she's never been involved in any community organizations I'm aware of. So she's totally an unknown quantity. Now, I understand there are people that don't like some of the decisions I've made over 30 years. But for somebody that has no record whatsoever, that's a, it's a big leap in a town of 76,000 people. We want to make sure everybody votes. You were asking me. When I ran for mayor in 1985, I lost by 42 votes. A very long evening. The next morning, the first call I got was from a woman who said, Mayor, Roger, I'm sorry I didn't vote. I thought you had it made. Folks, in these elections, nobody ever has it made. So I would encourage you to be sure to get out and vote Tuesday from 6 a.m. till 7 p.m. in your precinct. It's on the back of your voter ID card, or you can call our headquarters. You can call me, 630-212. 2200. That's my cell phone, or you can call headquarters, and that number is... F630-863-7485. If you need a ride to get out um, the vote, we don't want anyone to have to miss out the opportunity. It's too important of an election, and I couldn't agree with you more, Mayor. Um, looking out there at, at what the plan and the future is for Bolingbrook, for someone on the opposition who has no published plan, no published platform, and I've had a chance not only to, to read yours, but to hear you out there talking to residents about it, um, I hope that that really resonates with residents.